Hey, I'm Jim Harmer from ImprovedPhotography.com and forgive me if my jaw's jittering a bit, but it is about four o'clock in the morning. I'm in very, very rural Idaho in the mountains and it is just frozen. And as I was leaving the house, I just grabbed a jacket and it so happened to be my wife's jacket and it doesn't quite fit me. So uh, it's a little bit chilly out here, but uh, I wanna show you how I made this picture just moments ago of this gorgeous schoolhouse that's only about 20 feet from me, but you can't probably see it in the, in the photo because it's so dark here. Uh, with the Milky Way rising behind it and all the brilliant stars when you get far enough away from the city. The camera settings that I'm using today are, I'm shooting at ISO 3200 for most of these shots. That's really, really high, and frankly, sometimes I'll need to go higher depending on what the, the situation warrants. Sometimes I'll need to go to 5,000 or even 6,400. Now, we all know that's going to increase the noise in the photo, and that's just a fact of the matter. When you're shooting night photography, there will be some noise. You can't get away from it. But we do our best to limit the amount of noise, and we're doing that by using long exposure noise reduction. You'll find that in the menu of your DSLR. If you have any DSLR that was made in the last five or six years, it will have the option, Canon, Nikon, Sony, you name it. You go into the menu, you find long exposure noise reduction, and you set it to on. And what it'll do is every time you take a picture with a long exposure, usually it'll only activate after about eight to 10 seconds, depending on your camera model, is you'll take a picture, if I have my shutter speed to 30 seconds, like it is right now, I'll set it to, I'll take a 30 second picture and then the camera goes black for 30 seconds after the picture is done taking. And it's, what it's doing is it's taking a second kind of secret picture that you never actually see. And it says, you know what, this picture should be black because the shutter was closed for the entire thing. So if I see any light on this second invisible picture, it must be stray electric signals on the imaging sensor or heat buildup and that's creating the noise. So we'll reduce that noise from the second picture from the first and then we get a much cleaner picture. It's a really, really neat technology. So uh, we have long exposure noise reduction activated and we have a 30 second exposure with ISO 3200 and then the last setting is f2.8. Uh, we would usually use a much higher aperture like f16 to shoot a landscape like this but we just have to gather more light. F16 is not gonna cut it here. So I'm shooting at F2.8 just out of necessity. With those settings, I'll go ahead and click another picture here. And I, the real trouble when you're shooting at night is to find focus. You'll notice my picture went right away, but if you were to just set up here, you'd find that it wouldn't work because your camera needs a little bit of contrast to be able to, to find focus. So I was fortunate that there's a barn way out there that has a light on it. And I could just turn my camera to focus right on that light and then I locked the focus. You can simply lock the focus by reaching up onto your lens where it goes from autofocus to manual and just flip it to manual. Now it won't change while you're taking all your pictures all night. And we want to be focused to infinity and I know that barn, you know, it looks like it's a mile out there. So it's going to be at infinity which means as far out as your lens can focus. And so I know that the stars are gonna be in perfect focus because I'm focused to infinity. If you don't have the benefit of, an, of a light way far away, what you can do is just focus your lens out as far as it'll go, rack it all the way, and then you wanna come back just slightly, just a teeny little bit, and that's about to infinity. You can also look through um, the viewfinder and see if you can get those stars looking about sharp, but it is difficult to do by hand. So we focus there, and then we'll just take all our photos with that same focus. What I will do is I'll turn on, you know, maybe this light or a cell phone light and shine it on this barn before I leave and take one picture uh, focused on the barn so that I can have a sharp, a sharp shot of that, and then I'll mask the sharp barn and the lights of the sky together. That's really the only way to do it because you can't get a high enough aperture. Uh, and if you want both in, in focus, you're going to have to use a little bit of Photoshop to get them together. So that's my process. You'll notice there's a little bit of orange at the bottom of the photos that I'm taking. There's a city 30 miles that way, and, uh, and it still shows up, just a little glow of light. Uh, and, and I really like that. I, I think it kind of adds to the photo as well. 
So this is my shot in uh, rural Idaho. I hope you enjoyed me joining, learning a little bit about landscape photography. And remember, I froze my butt off at 4 o'clock in the morning in rural Idaho for you. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'd ask you if you would, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to us so we can get more videos to you. Thanks.